Hello, Jess to viewers. Today we are going to see about uh, how to map uh, drain density. So we are going to uh, see about the required data and the necessary steps for mapping the drain density. So drain density uh, is normally the length of streams or the total area of the length of the streams within a catchment or within a, a watershed divided by the total area of the business or the watershed or uh, the catchment. So what are the required uh, data for uh, drain density? First, we need to have uh, DM, DM data. So let us add our DM data. Here it is DM, DM of watershed. This is uh, the DM data of uh, the watershed and the watershed boundary. Let me follow it. As you can see, or as you, you can explore here, it is a digital elevation model or the DM uh, of uh, my watershed. So first we need to fill this uh, DM. Uh, there is inconsistencies. There is uh, there may be gaps or inconsistencies. Missed values of the uh, the seed values of the raster this team so directly go to our toolbox then spatial analysis tools then hydrology fill click on fill tab then the input raster must be the dm watershed the output surface raster means the place or the folder that you want to save your output but i accept the default via the default path then click ok Okay, correct. After uh, flow, after uh, filling the DM, let us uh, compute flow direction. The flow, the input raster must be the filled DM, and uh, the output flow direction raster must uh, is that the this is the place where you put uh, or you save your output. Uh, so this is the folder. But I, uh, as I uh, did earlier, I accept the default output folder or the default uh, path, then click OK. Flow direction is running, let us wait. OK. Finally, flow accumulation. So uh, the, input, uh, the, the input raster must be the flow direction. As it uh, uh, suggests input flow direction raster, so the, flow, the input raster must be the flow direction. The output, the output accumulation raster means that the folder uh, you want to save your uh, output raster. But as I did earlier, I will accept the default path or the default folder, then hit OK. Flow accumulation is running. Let's wait. The, as you can see, this is the flow accumulation. Let us uh, make some thresholds. Uh, zero up to this number, the flow accumulation starts as zero to uh, this amount of number. So let us make some thresholds for this. Uh, so for uh, separating or viewing multiple uh, tributaries or multiple streams. So classify. Go to, let me make it to 5000. Okay, okay, apply. As you can see here, uh, there are uh, uh, streams. Okay, so let me uh, decrease the thresholds to 2000. Apply. Yes, it is more clear and more separated, but this uh, classification system is temporary, so let us uh, make a, a, a permanent classification of raster or a, a permanent uh, division of thresholds. So go to uh, spatial analysis and hit algebra, then raster calculator. So what uh, 
what is the target area is flow accumulation this flow accumulation greater than greater than how much 2000 this is the threshold uh, so the output raster is the folder that you want to save uh, your output then hit ok ok so this is the flow accumulation uh, the flow accumulation of the uh, streams the streams this is a raster as you can see this is a seal value or this is a raster so uh, for the calculation of uh, drainage density or stream density the streams uh, must be changed into a vector or a vector or a line so in this case we have streams or we have, we have uh, rivers or streams tributaries so we need to change into polylines so directly go to conversion tools then from raster raster to polyline the input raster must be this flow accumulation that means the streams then other uh, other things as it is or accept the default value but the uh, most important thing here is that the output polyline feature that means the output vector polyline that you want to save or this is the folder that you want to you wish to save your output then hit ok okay perfect now let me uncheck all other uh, all other layers and let me uh, check this okay this is the original da and this is a polyline so let me change the symbology the symbology must be this uh, blue yes this is a symbology or this is a, the streams so the streams so stream density means the total length of rivers divided by the total area of this watershed gives gives us to the uh, stream density in order to calculate a stream density uh, directly go to arc toolbox then spatial analysis tools then directly go to uh, density so there are three types of density analysis kernel density, line density, point density so uh, these have uh, their own properties and their own functionalities for example if you have a point data then point density will be calculated for a point features so line density it actually uh, inserts or it actually takes the, the vector or the uh, line so double click on line density then the input uh, uh, the input polyline feature must be the converted the converted uh, polylines this so the population field leave as it is the important thing is here is that output raster the output raster must be for example let me line density density and you can you can browse this folder and save what, uh, as uh, you want as you want uh, as you wish you wish to save in your drive or uh, in your uh, local disk the output cell size it is also optional but uh, let me fix it as 30 meters 30 meters resolution area units it is optional search radius it is also optional uh, device it is area units you can uh, select uh, you can select for your convenient uh, units miles kilometers but square kilometers that means the line density uh, the, the drainage density the, or the stream density uh, is expressed in terms of the square kilometers in terms of square kilometers then go to environment then processing extent processing extent as watershed boundary perfect now this is a line density let us make some amendments double click on line density to this 
so this is the higher uh, density or the higher density occupied by each each uh, streams or the stream densities and the other is the lowest area that is uh, the lowest density where it occupied by the the streams the streams so let us make some amendments you can uh, form go to format levels and decrease the number of digits after decimal places to uh, three then okay then apply so as you can see the value of the this is drainage density you can rename drainage uh, density so you can uh, rename just like this zero out of this so as uh, we come to uh, down there is uh, the increment of the density that the ratio between the total length of the streams divided by the total area of the watershed boundary or the catchment boundary so you can easily calculate the stream density or the uh, stream density or the um, drainage density that is uh, yeah that uh, uses for the various uh, hydrological and uh, agricultural as well as in irrigation systems so by using arc uh, JS arc map you can easily calculate a stream density or drainage density so this is what we have today if you are new to this youtube channel you can comment like uh, and subscribe thank you for watching